been an up and down couple of weeks, I would say, for the sports world. We have some really devastating stories, ones that are hard to even get out the words to tell you guys. So I appreciate you bearing with us at times when we uh, we did we did things like the Chapaquenzi story, which is just awful, hard to do. The Besiktas, the, the Turkish bombing that happened, but. With every sports day, there is some good in this world. There is some good things that we want to bring to you. And this is one that we've followed since its inception, right through to the final uh, best ending I could ever imagine, which is Lionel Messi finally meets the young Afghan boy who we remember from day one, his brother made him a shirt out of a plastic bag so that he could feel like Messi and be like his hero because he did not have uh, the, the, the capability to get himself a authentic Lionel Messi, uh, Lionel Messi jersey, and then it progressed. Yep. He got himself a jersey, there was some turmoil that went on, and let's take a look at the journey. So we have the first image, I believe. Well, the first two, it started with, you know, you can see, first of all, you look in the background too, just to kind of see what, you know, what is the situation looks like. And uh, he, look at, I mean, that's what it started as, is yeah. a very well-made bag jersey. And it turned into a signed jersey from Lionel Messi himself. Uh, with the awesome, badass pose. That's great. Uh, and then it led to, of all things, this past weekend, taking a picture with not just Messi, the entirety of Barcelona. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very cool. There's a video that we want to throw to you guys. It is heartwarming where uh, he finally got to meet his hero. So take a look and try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out afterwards he, he refused to leave his side. He had to be like told like you can't you can't play the game. Yeah. Even though I'm sure he would have wanted to. I'm sure he would have fit in. I mean I honestly believe that I could play in a starting eleven for Barcelona because they're that good that I wouldn't look as much out of place. I just need to pass it five yards and then move. I think the kid would do a better job. Mm, probably. Um, but yeah, he had to. So the uh, Mortaza Amadi uh, is the name of the six year old who was the viral star. And I remember we did the story where his family was being threatened because of their because newfound of the, fame. It's true. Um, which is just a harsh reality of it. Money. Yeah, exactly. So the reason why this was able to come to fruition Barcelona were in Qatar to play a friendly against uh, Saudi Arabian Al Ali on Tuesday evening. And he was given the honour of bringing on the match ball onto the pitch before the match. Uh, and then, obviously, he got the opportunity to meet his hero and take a picture. So, every once in a while, Jason, there's some good. our hope is uh, reignited. I think it would be great if this kid, uh, Murtaza Armadi, was such a savage that he went back home and made a bag shirt out of Ronaldo. And then, and then just got a Ronaldo center, shirt as well. And then go play with Real Madrid. <laughs> uh, on a serious note, uh, Barcelona is also doing another great deed of good to raise, I think, some more money for Chapacuense's team. They're, yeah. They've uh, agreed to play in a friendly ah, uh, with them amazing. ahead of next season, which I think is remarkable because that never would have happened before the, the, the tragic events. And what's happened from the tragedy is the team seems like it's going to stay afloat which is important, as you've noted multiple times, that they need that team. So uh, two yeah. stories of good coming out of Barcelona. But of course, there is some people that are going to look to get the most out of it, such as the Qatar's 2022 World Cup organizers. Um, they brought the pair together. So I, I think it's fantastic. I just do think that it's also in tune with their efforts to continue to, uh, continue to promote that, hey, we're going to be the best possible hosts for you when it comes to the World Cup in 2022. Because look... We brought this young boy to meet his hero, which is a heartwarming story, but I do think Doesn't there is some the alternate. Yeah. There's, degrees there's still some alternate summer. things in there that, that would make us think that it's not going to be the best um, for the term. But you mentioned he wouldn't leave his side. Luis Suarez like broke into a fit of laughter and had, they had to actually point over to the tunnel because he just didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay I, there. We talked about this before. Ride it out, man. Long yeah. as, until the security actually picks you up and moves you away. Remain with fame. Luis Suarez having a crack at yeah, it. Yeah, he, he laughs at Luis Suarez is like, ah, oh, man, my position could be threatened if he's here. <laughs> I need to, I gotta and make sure he doesn't bang in a couple goals and take my spot in the top 30 in the Ballon d'Or voting. If it, if, it was, if it wasn't already a great story, his, the child and his family now live in Quetta in Pakistan after we talked about they were Safer going through area. some really... Uh, troubling times where they were in the Taliban controlled Af uh, an area in the Taliban controlled Af Afghanistan. So it seems that uh, on this, what day is it? Is this going up today? This Wednesday, up Wednesday. Uh, December 14th. 14th. 
there is some good news out there that we can look at in terms of how the world of football can bring joy to the world. And I am happy to bring Christmas this story to you guys. Joy to the world. Can we sing it out? You know. I know I'm not supposed to. Alright, here's the comment section below. What do you think of the story? Does it warm your heart? Francis underscore Maxwell on Twitter, Jason Rubin91. And we'll catch you guys very, very soon.